Yo, what's going on, guys? And we're hearing right now from Mr. Jovan Buha of The Athletic that Walker Kessler is still somebody that they're going to be going after. And I really do think that's an interesting case study when you look at this, as obviously the Los Angeles Lakers have gotten off to a better start than most people were anticipating, which I do think is interesting. And I think when you look at that situation where the Lakers have gone to a 3-0 start under, obviously, new head coach J.J. Redick, and this is a better start than expected. And the Lakers obviously are going to still be looking to improve their roster. And we've heard for a while, a guy that the Lakers have had interest in is in Walker Kessler as their front court depth is Anthony Davis and Jackson Hayes. While Jared Vanderbilt and K Christian Wood are both coming back from injury, should they pursue a guy like them? He's only making $2.9 million this season and $4.9 million next year. Walker Kessler on his rookie scale deal and he's extension eligible. So with that being said, the Los Angeles Lakers being reportedly interested in acquiring center Walker Kessler from the Utah Jazz, according to Jovan Buha of The Athletic, is something that I think is to be expected, especially if this team ends up being a lot better than most people anticipated. So before we consider today's video, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys expect from this and what do you think? I think the Lakers are going to start exploring ways they can bolster their front court if they think that this team is going to be able to contend, especially with a guy like Kessler who would bring valuable death behind Anthony Davis. And with the injuries affecting Jared Vanderbilt going back to last season and Christian Woods more of an offensive guy, this makes Walker Kessler an ideal target as he's only making, as we said before, just about it's $7.8 million, so about $8 million off of that. So the flexibility to get a deal like that done is very easy. So... If we just look at how a deal of this magnitude would go down, it's not hard to see how they could put the, the pictures together to make a, a deal of this to go down. So as you guys see on, you'll see on the screen right now is going to be the first iteration of a trade like this. Personally, when I see something like this, I'm just thinking Jalen hood Shafino. from what I've heard is Jalen hood Shafino is kind of the odd man out. And as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, it's not like... He's part of the rotation or anything. You can you can tell that he's obviously not really a guy that they're really playing in. As you see this season, I think the the biggest thing is just looking at. I just think it goes to show like this. Okay, this is going to be a team that like as we go closer and closer to the the deadline, I think is going to be tied up to multiple types of move. As I think they're going to try to you know to maximize the window that they have. As I said. I think the more that they can keep LeBron engaged, the better it's going to be. And as we've seen so far this season, 3-0, this team is definitely playing hard competition. The Timberwolves, the the Suns, and the Kings being their the three first wins. These aren't just like anybody in just that's going getting, you know, gone with the win. These are actual people who people are considering to be you know guys who are going to be competitive so for me when I, I see a situation like this I I get excited because I think that they have the the possibility of really really competing and you know taking advantage of what the the situation that they're in especially with the, first off Dalton connect out here I know it's going to be the easy you know thoughts that he's going to be able to do this all season but even the fact that guys like Jackson Hayes are having solid minutes, Austin Reeves looks fantastic, but they're not even playing Jalen hood -Shifino. And when you look at this rotation, I think Jalen hood -Shifino would be the easiest contract to move right here as it would cost them nothing. And as I've said, as we go through this trade machine, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think as this deal with the Jazz? I think... I mean, the Jazz said to the Knicks they wanted two first-round picks. I feel like if you send them Jalen hood Shafino and maybe a future first, which, as you guys saw on the screen when we started this, I, th I think we attached the 2030. That's technically a former first-round pick, which would be who's in his second season. And uh, maybe you do, like, a lightly protected one. That actually gets the deal done easily. It works out. And this is a deal that, honestly, the people who's going to benefit from a deal like this is more so going to be, you know, Los Angeles. But the a team like Utah would actually be incentivized to bring in a guy like 
Mr. Jalen Hood Shafino because he's they need point guard depth, they need guard depth, and he's actually someone who would help them out there. Now, if you were going to say, what if it's not him? The only other person I could think about there is... That. If it's not Jalen Hood Shafino, maybe Maxwell Lewis, but I think Jalen Hood Shafino is their best trade chip. They're not trading Dalton the neck. And I, I think Gabe Vincent's too big of a contract to even try to persuade somebody like the the Jazz to take that on. So for me, that's the realistically the only deal. Now, and that's what you guys saw on the screen during the video. I think the, the other deal we were talking about was maybe potentially... Yeah, I just don't see anything else unless like you could find a deal where like for some reason a guy like Gabe Vincent or D'Angelo Russell gets more value from a different team. I think that's going to be something that's you're just going to look at and be like, oh, okay, I don't know how much that's going to carry weight or volume of like actually being able to be feasibly done. But yeah, I want to hear your guys' thoughts as we get closer to the trade deadline. Obviously, we're only through the first couple games of the season, so it's just, you know, still variables that are going to be ones that we have no idea how they're going to end or how they're going to affect, but I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. As we get closer and closer, I think that's going to be, you know, indicative of what's going to happen. But we're, I think their whole concern is, are they going to have enough win protection? I mean, obviously if Jackson Hayes or whoever it may be, it ends up being a lot more, productive or a better rim protector than they expect then I don't expect them to to go out and even do a move because like if Jackson Hayes ends up being great and then he can be the defensive guy while Christian Wood can be the offensive guy and Jared Vanderbilt comes back and it's all Gucci against Kumboya then why would you even try to upgrade there's no point but if you're struggling and it's a it's all this mess and all this stuff then I think yeah you think about it but on the the whole I'd have to think you'd you'd sit here and you'd be like, okay, like, let's just go ahead and try to figure it out. But I don't know. That's my thoughts. I feel like I'm just rambling here as we try to get this video to eight minutes. Well, I think definitely the more time we see with this team, it will become evident if they're really desperate. But we also know the Utah Jazz are a team that have been like super incredibly like stingy with their asking prices for players like uh, they told the Knicks they wanted two first round picks for Walker Kessler and I'm not saying Walker Kessler isn't worth at least one first round pick but that's why I say the Jalen Hood Shafino and a uh, first round pick protected is the most likely to happen as you guys saw on the screen so I want to hear your thoughts on that one that's basically going to be it for me hit that like subscribe button if you guys want more content like that but that's it for me put these out